Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys. I am Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor. So as we know that uh, we are on the page of Azure AG104 content based video series. So this is the 32 video of our Azure AG104 and in this video, in this session basically I am going to describe you about how you can manage private and public IP addresses. So as we know that whenever we try to create a virtual machine over Azure portal, by default, Azure will provide you two different IP addresses with your virtual machine. One is public and another is private IP address. So in this in this video, I'm planning to describe you how you can manage your own IP address. Like you want to fix your public IP address, you want to fix your private IP address. So how you can achieve it? I'm talking about the static IP address because you know that we have a two different way to assign IP address to our virtual machine. One is dynamic and another is static. So in case of dynamic, it may be changed. If you shut down your virtual machine, if you stop your uh, VM uh, instance, or uh, if you restart your instance, it may be changed. But if you purchase a static IP address, if you fix the public, uh, public or private IP address, uh, uh, it cannot be changed, although you are restarting your virtual machine or stopping your virtual machine. So I'm going to give you the proper information about how you can uh, fix the public or private IP address with your VM. So for this particular task, we, you should know few things related to the Azure services. I'm talking about the VNet. So I hope you all of you know about the VNet. I have already created a video related uh, VNet and VNet pairing as well. So you can just check the playlist and find the uh, practical related to the VNet. Not an issue. I'm going to describe you about the concept of VNet uh, in this video as well because without VNet, we can't fix the private IP address. You know that in case of default uh, VNet, Azure, uh, Azure uses always try to use a 10.0.0.0 slash 16 as a private IP address. But you have option to fix your uh, private IP address as per your requirement. So I'm going to describe you about a uh, few parts related to the theory of a uh, public and private IP address and after that we'll move ourselves to portal and try to understand about the concept of uh, uh, how we can manage private and public IP address, right? So today's agenda, we just try to understand about uh, how to manage public and private IP address. Okay, with virtual machine. So as we know that we have a default VNet, whenever you create your, your virtual machine without VNet, means I'm talking about the default VNet. So you will be get a private IP address always started from 10.0.0.0 something because the Azure uses slash 16 for default VNet. So in slash 16, you will be get a N number of IP address, approximately 65,000, more than 65,000. And randomly you will be get a one public IP address as well. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your own private IP address and how you can fix your public IP address as well. So for prerequisite, you should know about, first of all, you need to create a one VNet. Under the VNet, we need to create at least one subnet because without subnet, we can't create any kind of virtual machine. Create subnet under VNet. Okay, and after that we'll create a virtual machine in our own VNet. So this is the prerequisite. You can say that step once our virtual machine is ready to use, uh, we will try to understand about how we can fix it, how we can fix the public, or how we can uh, fix the private IP address. So this is our agenda. Let's move ourselves to portal and. Uh, uh, first of all, as per the requirement, as per the requirement, we need to create a one VNet. So guys, this is our Azure portal and in Azure portal, you need to click on networking because we need to create a structure of network. And after that, we will, we will put our virtual machine under our own network structure. So just click on VNet and although I have already created one VNet, I'm going to create another VNet. So you need to decide the uh, CIDR value or address space as per your requirement. Like you want to connect up to 100 machines, so as per requirement of 100 machine, you can decide the uh, uh, subnet. Uh, you, you, you need to decide the CIDR value or uh, uh, address space value. This is my MSDN account, Azure Class 1. This is the container. You can say that the source group. Type the name of your uh, VNet. So I'm going to create a one VNet with name of uh, 
okay training vnet uh, select any location so in my case i'm going to create our vnet in location of east us and this is the place by default azure will provide you 10.0.0.0/16 and in you will be get up to 65536 ip address so it's a huge amount but i don't want to use 65000 ip address so that's why i'm going to proceed and create our own vnet with our own address space so i just want to create only 62 machine or uh, 55 machines so that's why i'm going to proceed with 26 so in 26 as per the calculation you will be get up to 64 ip address and as we know that uh, uh, as you will reserve five ip address from your entire subnet means if you create if you selected a slash 16 slash 26 as a address space and in same address space you are planning to create a two or three different uh, subnet so in each subnet as you will reserve five different ip address so i'm going to use the entire space 192.168.1.0 slash 26 so see we are able to find 65 ip address we will get a uh, 65 ip address but but we just need to subtract up to 5 ip address because it's reserved by the azure itself so we will get up to 59 ip address so it's enough not an issue no need to do anything click add and review and create so once our vnet is ready we will move ourselves to portal uh, we will move ourselves to compute part and with the help of compute part we will create our own virtual machine and put in our own vnet and try to fix the public and private ip address so we have a various way to fix public IP address means convert your dynamic uh, uh, public IP address to static. We have a various way. So I'll give you the proper information how you can perform the task. So let's wait because uh, once our VNet is ready, we will move ourselves to create a one virtual machine. Okay, fine. So our training VNet is ready to use. This is our address space. Go to the subnet part. Uh, we use the entire space 192.168.1.0 slash 26 so we have a 20, uh, 59 of IP address means you are able to connect up to 59 of 9 types of devices go to the virtual machine and create one VM click create proceed with your own VNet that you created so you need to provide the entire information same like as a VNet like as uh, 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 subscription, second resource group, as of class one, location is TUS, select virtual machine name. So I'm going to proceed with name of web. So what do I need to use of Windows operating system? And uh, provide username and password. Those username and password can help you to connect from on premises. Uh, 3389, yes, we want to access our virtual machine from outside the network. That's why we need to activate the 3389 port networking so we uh, created a one vnet with name of training vnet this is the subnet training subnet no need to do anything just need to proceed and review and create so our agenda our agenda to understand about the ip address management with our virtual machine so it's really important because uh, if your client want to fix the public ip address or private ip address for individual virtual machine or any other Azure resources. So you should know about how we can perform this task. Deployment in progress, not an issue. It will take up to three to four minute times. Uh, time. So our motto to configure private and public IP addresses. So let's try to understand once our VM is ready, I'll give you the proper step, how you can manage the service of IP addressing. Fine, so our virtual machine is ready to use. Let's try to open the VM's property. We created our virtual machine with name of web. And as we know that, whenever you create your, your virtual machine, Azure will provide you two different types of IP address. One is public and another is private IP address, right? So I'm going to take the RDP of the, our virtual machine with the help of public IP address. So copy your public IP address, open MSTSC, and with the help of MSTSC, you can connect your virtual machine by using the public IP address and username and password that you used while creating your virtual machine. Okay, so now we successfully connected our virtual machine with the help of uh, 
uh, Microsoft Remote Access tool, but our motto to understand about the public IP address. So this is the public IP address and this one is the private and both IP address are available in dynamic format. Means it may be changed. For example, you just stop your virtual machine or restart your virtual machine. So it may be your public IP address will change. So as you know that if you have a dynamic IP address and you are planning to host your website or applications, it may be create a problem because you need to associate your domain with a, a public IP address. So in case of in case your public IP address is changed, so it may be uh, you are unable to access your website with the help of domain name. So if you want to fix it, if you want to fix your public IP address or private IP address, we have a various way. The first way, if you want to fix your public IP address, means make it steady, just click on stop button. It gives you one notification. See, do you want to reserve the public IP address? Means if you have a one or two different virtual machines, whenever you just click on the stop button, it gives you option. Just need to click here and click OK. By using this particular method, you can fix your public IP address for permanent for any virtual machine. Second step, we have another way, no need to turn off your virtual machine, no need to stop your virtual machine. So for another way, you just need to click networking and in the networking, we need to find the uh, NIC card, uh, property of NIC card. So this is our interface card, network interface, web 93, open it and it gives you the proper information related to the IP address. See, we are able to find one option. IP configuration. So when you click on the IP configuration, it will give you information about both types of IP address that available in our virtual machine. So see, we are able to find this is the dynamic IP address for private and this one is another dynamic IP address for public. Let's try to fix it. We want to fix the public IP address and private IP address for permanent. Just need to click here again. Now it will provide you both types of options. We are able to find uh, a public IP address dynamic. You want to make it static, just click here, right? If you want to fix the public private IP address, I don't want to use the phone. I want to use uh, public IP address 24, uh, private IP, uh, IP address 25. So in this particular method, when you click on the static, you can fix your private IP address as per your requirement. Just need to save the icon. Once you save the uh, entire setting, it is fixed for your uh, virtual machine. It will take two or three minute time, so we just need to wait. Okay, so we successfully uh, saved the static IP address for private. Now it's a fix for permanent, means your private IP address is fixed as per your requirement. Now we need to understand about how you can fix the public IP address without restarting your computer, without restarting your virtual machine. So need to open our virtual machine's property again and uh, we are able to find both IP addresses are available. Need to click on public IP address. And here we are able to find n number of options are available. Click on configuration again. Whenever you click on configuration, it will provide you two different options, dynamic and static. So just need to click on static because we want to fix the same IP address for permanent and click save. Even you can also use your dynamic IP, uh, you, you can also use a DNS name for this particular public IP address. You can manage it, but this is the optional. If your organization want to access your virtual machine not with the help of public IP address means you don't want to disclose your public IP address so that time you can proceed with DNS means with the help of DNS you are also able to connect your virtual machine. So I'm going to show you like I'm going to proceed with the any name like training as you okay. Domain name must be unique right so I'm going to use the same name in DNS this is the optional. And uh, Let's try to connect our virtual machine again by using the public IP address. Okay, let's verify the private IP address. CMD IP config. See, 192.168.1.25. This is the fixed IP, fixed private IP address 
for your virtual machine. So guys, this is all about IP address management with your Azure virtual machine. If you want to fix the public IP address or private IP address with the help of property of our virtual machine, we can do that. I hope you all of you understand about the concept of public and private IP address with VM. If you have any doubt or question, please let me know. Take care. We'll connect soon with another video. Bye-bye.